I didn't make that up. But <laughs> <laughs> ride the tail of, of the mainstream. Uh, and the spirit is the most important because I find that so many women that struggle with love have no, sometimes they lose faith that God is taking care of them or that the higher power is out there. And then they also, they don't have faith that it's ever going to happen. And the important thing about the subconscious is that it doesn't, it can't create what it doesn't know. So your subconscious is not logical. It doesn't have the logic of your conscious mind. It just is a program. So if it's never experienced it before, it has to learn it. And so with the visualizations that you do, you can actually retrain your mind and warm your mind up for love. And so that's what it did for me. It actually warmed my mind up to what it would feel like to have someone hold me and really love me. So it's, uh, it's, that's the, what the book's about. It's about the, all the stages I went through, and hopefully people don't have to wait two years. Um, actually, uh, by me learning all these things and all these blocks that stopped me from attracting my man, why it took so darn long, because I was helping other people, and they were meeting people. One of the girls is in here right now, I helped her get married. She had a guy 30 days ago. Yay! And I said, how come she met someone 30 days later? <laughs> <laughs> and then I had, a, recently I did a, a workshop here in Denver, and I had a woman meet someone an hour later after she did a visualization with me. And so my hope with this book is to, for people to really learn the whole, the whole package. It's not just about hypnosis. It's about the whole body, mind, spirit in alignment. And once you have that in alignment with anything, whether it's money or uh, peace or in your body or your health, um, if you're not happy with your weight, you know, find a way to clear what's ever blocking you from having that body that you love. Um, it's really amazing. And I can tell you that one miracle story, I didn't plan on sharing this story, but I think I will because I just feel like it. My friend Brenda said, just whatever comes through, just say it. <laughs> 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 uh, last year, my dad got diagnosed with uh, chronic leukemia. And my dad and I really didn't have a very close relationship growing up. And I was very angry at him for so long. And right after I got in hypnotherapy school, I actually had a very wonderful healing with him. Um, that's in the book, if you buy the book, you can read the whole story. But to make a, sh a short story, um, uh, he, the relationship we had now as adults and after this made me reach out to him and say, listen, Dad, I have stuff that can help you. And so I did some work with him with hypnosis and energy work. And he went through chemo without any withdrawals. I mean, any uh, withdrawals. I always say that because I, I help people quit smoking all the time. <laughs> without any side effects. And it was just amazing. And now he's cancer free. So not only can this help you, but it's very important. And so I'm going to close now. And I hope I don't cry because I probably will. But I just want, if you really want love, I want you to know the type of love I do have. And um, when I first met this man, he's just just an incredible man, and someone I would never think was someone I'd look at twice. You know, uh, he's very handsome, but he was older than me, not typical of my type. But I gave him a chance because I was warmed up for love and I was ready for love. And when he gave me this poem, I thought, you know, the old Debbie would have ran away for the hills, but the new Debbie says, "Bring it on!" This is what I've been waiting for. So uh, it took me 41 years to figure this out, and hopefully those out there that are still struggling with it, they can find their love, and I hope I can hear your story. So I'm gonna end with a book, um, a poem by Tagore. It's called Unending Love. I seem to have loved you in numberless forms, numberless times, in life after life, in age after age forever. My spellbound heart has made and remade the necklace of songs that take you as a gift, wear around your neck in your many forms in life after life, in age after age forever. Whenever I hear old chronicles of love, its age-old pain, its ancient tale of being apart or together, as I stare on and on into the past, in the end you emerge. Clad in the light of a pulse star, Piercing the darkness of time, you become an image of what is remembered forever. You and I have floated here on a stream that brings from the fount. At the heart of time, love of one another. 
We have played alongside millions of lovers, shared in the same shy sweetness of meeting, the same distressful tears of farewell. Old love, but in shapes that renew and renew forever. Today, it is heaped at your feet. It has found its end in you. The love of all man's days, both past and forever. Universal joy, universal sorrow, universal life. The memories of all loves merging into this one love of ours. And the songs of every poet, past and forever. So, this is what's possible. <laughs> some poems himself, but that's the poem he wrote is in the book. But uh, I couldn't print this in the book because of copyright reasons, so I wanted to share it because it was so, like, when I got it, it was like, this is what I've been searching for my whole life, and it's here, and I deserve it, and I want it, and I let love in. Yay. I kicked it out for all my whole life, and um, and that's what we really do. We, we push it away because we don't feel worthy of it on some level. And um, you all deserve to have great loves. And if you're in relationships, greater connection with love. And um, before I ask questions, uh, answer questions, I wanted to let you know I have these little uh, postcards. I have 25% off my online store. It's, uh, I have audio programs that you can listen to to uh, help you with all different things, smoking, love, confidence, public speaking, Money. I know there's a lot of, I don't know if you've heard, there's some kind of financial crisis going on. Uh, <laughs> really good for money. Uh, and then I also have um, my weekly dating tips if you're single. I send a tip out every week. And I also, if you sign up, you get a free Attract Love seminar. It's like an hour seminar on this work. And then also my love, mag my love magnet mini session. And this <laughs> mini session is what I did for this woman that met her man 30 days later, uh, 30 minutes later, so uh, you might want to get that if you're single. <laughs> so, uh, any questions? How long did it take you to write the book? That's a good question. She asked how long it took me to write the book. The whole process took about four years. Uh, the book evolved from when I wrote it because I started writing it before I met my man. And the first draft was a little, still a little angry, like, this is helping everyone else but not me. <laughs> not that angry, just a little bit, a little frustrated. And then when I, I kept refining and refining, and um, the book that was sold was actually a different book than the original. And then I finally, uh, it took about three months to write the book because it just blew. I had it all set up, and yeah, after all the work, you just kind of like write it then. And so, yeah, it, it, took, it just depends on your process. Any other questions? Yes? What are the top five things you love about your man? Oh, <laughs> top five things I love about my man. Number one, he's spiritual. Um, number two, he's sexy. Number three, he's affectionate. Number four, he's very deep and we have deep conversations every morning, which is kind of nice sometimes with stops and the time stops. Um, and I guess number five would be his energy. And when I'm with him, I feel like it's home. Mm -hmm. So 